What is going on guys? It is Blunt here for a brand new Pokemon Go video and you guys have been showing some insane support on these past few videos such as you know 22 things Pokemon Go doesn't tell you level up fast how to catch legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Go and if you guys haven't checked out those videos I will put them you know all in the description or they will just be in the playlist which I've just created and you can just go check out you know videos sequentially you know one by one and you know hopefully these videos you know do help you guys I mean of course these are some tips and hopefully you aren't aware of these just tips and tricks that will definitely help how you play you know pokemon go out there in the wild now from the title of this video it'll probably be along the lines of you know don't do this in pokemon go or like you know don't power up or you know evolve your pokemon or whatever first of all let me get this straight i mean because i have to basically don't drive you know trespass or do anything you know illegal that has to do with this game i'm not going to be held responsible for your actions i mean you know i just got to make that clear because you know this is don't do this in pokemon go which i mean you know don't do this you know literally in the game so you know this is basically for those you know people that are starting out basically you know now up to kind of like level 20 you know 15 20 i'm at like level 14 and now as you can see i've got my like you know top three hypnos now you know I, i've been catching a lot of drowsies and i just you know i've been evolving them well that isn't a problem you know evolving them making sure you know that they are going to be you know your best out there and they still are you know i've had these like since like maybe level 10 or something like that and i'll keep on you know evolving them because i know they will do good now the thing that people do is that they'll like go and like evolve or like power up like you know you start a pokemon i mean in the old you know pokemon games you could literally you know start from the ground up your old pokemon but for example if i got the squirrel as you can see here this is one of the squirrels because i didn't catch squirrel as a first pokemon and as you can see here you know this might be your first squirrel that you've caught and you'd be like uh, oh you know i'm gonna evolve this i'm gonna power it up and you know it will outdo you know every single pokemon literally it is a waste and as you can see there i've got 3633 stardust now i probably should have had a lot more than that because i did kind of waste it on powering it up and stuff but then you see after that i caught 37 at first out in the wild and then after that i caught this one 62 squirrel and now for the 37 one i literally don't need that at all so i'm gonna be you know transferring that over and then the next one i get is 118 and then do you see do you see what i'm getting at is that you know and then 118 and then 166 right there and then it, it, it gets even better and i've got even a uh, water somewhere here you see i've got a squirtle that is even higher combat power than a war turtle so that kind of explains a lot you know because war turtle is the evolution of a squirtle 232 squirtle 223 war turtle so basically you know i'm going to be definitely evolving this squirrel because i know it, it, this is kind of the area of like the max that a squirrel can kind of get around you know this is kind of a good time to you know evolve it if it is that high of a level you know combat power i believe myself and you know comparing to these other ones which are quite low you know 37 that is just a no just that do not evolve or power up now of course as you progress through the game it will become much much harder to you know find new pokemon in the game and to even capture them you know i've seen people that have like level 30 or something and it takes them like literally 50 pokeballs or something just to capture one pokemon that you know they might have caught easily at level five you know just one pokeball by not even getting a spin ball or anything and you know the higher level the you are as well the greater combat power pokemon you will find of course that is just a known fact now as you can see in the background gameplay i do evolve pokemon and i pop that you know lucky egg on those the double xp which is one of the tips on how to you know level up fast which i'll leave a link to right now in this video so you guys check out that separate video that i did and basically i do this because you know i want to get to you know level 15 so i can catch bigger pokemon and better pokemon with the you know greater cp combat power now this is however a bad method to do because you do waste those candies that can be you know used later on when you do capture those pokemon but otherwise you know this kind of does slow the process to get into the next level However, it kind of is worth it if you want to get through the levels, you know, as soon as possible. You can then, you know, get all those like free Pokeballs, the potions, incense, the lure modules, etc, etc that you get with leveling up as well. And just right now, as I'm speaking, as soon as I hit onto level 15, like the max EV I could have caught was like around 300. And I did just, you know, evolve it. But now I just captured literally a CP 350, which I'm kind of annoyed at because I did level up that pyro right there, as you guys saw probably earlier on. And I don't know what CP it was, hopefully not below 350. But that just kind of proves, you know, the greater the level, the more likely you are to get, you know, the high CP Pokemon. So, you know, you need, you need to just wait it off, especially. Especially if you just started out now below level 10 do not 
do not i mean you can do whatever you want but do not power up your pokemon especially you can evolve however you know to in order to get to the next level and you know to level up your trainer but however it is not worth you know spending that stardust which kind of doesn't come around you know very easily as well as the candies you know you can transfer pokemon as well you know to get the candies but it's not kind of a quick process so you know to get the stardust so overall it's not quite worth you know powering up a low level pokemon and when you will get you know a bigger higher combat power pokemon in it just a few levels on when you're playing the game keep the pokemon you know just from the start of the game i mean you can most likely just transfer them and just wait until you get better you know cp because you will you definitely will get high cp and you'll be surprised and even annoyed if you did power up that low level pokemon that you just got you know even a star pokemon do not especially you know level up or evolve that because it will not be a high high level combat power because it will be from you know level one so it's not worth it you might as well just hold on until like level 15 20 when you do you know get a high level cp pokemon and you want to battle those gyms you know and then get the highest cp hold that gym and you know take down the gyms as well and to just make sure that you know you transfer all those low combat power pokemon because you don't really need them at all they're just sitting there you know just waiting to be transferred and you might as well just you know get the candy out of them you know those are like you'll get like a few like cp 10s which you really don't need and even the starter pokemon i don't believe you will need that and if you do you know however catch you know a bigger squirtle like i showed up in the earlier in this video then you might as well you know just transfer that starter pokemon or whatever you got in order to get the candy and then make the best you know squirtle of you know on the water and get that up to you know really high combat power level and i'm sure everybody wanted wanted to you know progress with the starter pokemon but that's not really how it works unfortunately and you'll kind of kind of those starter pokemon don't really help a lot i mean the pokemon that you will catch will be better in combat power wise than you know the one that you start off with and it's not worth at all just paying attention to that starter pokemon at all until you know you get a higher cp pokemon so make sure you do not waste you know all your items you know your pokeballs and the master balls so hope you guys did find this video helpful and kind of informative because i don't believe many people would know you know not to power it up at all and just save that starter until later on because you will make much more use of it later on in the levels around 15 to 20 than you know level 5 10 because you'll just waste low low level pokemon you know you'll catch better you know in a few levels on because you'll just find greater pokemon later on in when you progress really you might as well just hold on to that status from the beginning of when you play the game and if you are a viewer that's playing the game right now and you know you just started off and you lower than level 10 i strongly suggest you but you, once again you can do whatever you want but don't power up and you know evolve just to level up that is the whole reason and you know kind of get a good cp if you are de for definite you know you caught a good you know high level cp for that kind of evolution or like pokemon and you know it'll be like even better evolution for you know that pyro for example i showed you was like 300 or something and it shot up to like 980 that is a good example right there if you guys did find this video helpful and informative make sure to you know drop that like button it would be greatly appreciated and share this you know with some people that you may know because you know they might have not been aware of this you know do not waste the stardust because it will be better to hold on to it in the levels you know coming up rather than using your stardust early on in the game if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more pokemon go content tell me down in the comments below if you guys would want to see you know more pokemon go content and once again don't forget about the playlist that i did about you know the other two videos you know 22 things that you don't know in pokemon go or, you know how to catch legendary pokemon or any pokemon in the game as well as how to level up fast so make sure to check out you know those three other videos thank you for watching as always it's been your boy bond peace